me down. Thy mercy, O oh Lord, held me when I said I cannot. Hello and good morning. Super delighted to be back with you in studio this morning. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Nalong Gurechuku and you are watching The Strange Acts of God. This is the NSPBD Testimony Show where I get the chance to sit down with the experts just to go over the wonders of God that we got a chance to see and to hear in the course of the week on NSPPD. And for that person that is tuning in for the very first time and wondering, what exactly is NSPPD? Ha, huh, where have you been? NSPPD is the new season's prophetic prayers and declarations brought to you by Streams of Joy International, the home of what God cannot do does not exist. Catch up with us weekdays, 7 a.m. Nigerian time, across all of our social media handles as we continue to revolutionize our world through the power of prayer. Ha! Last week, Saturday, was the NSPPD Ghana Prayer Conference. And so today on The Strange Acts of God, we will be talking all things NSPPD Ghana 2024. Today on The Strange Acts of God, I am joined by not one but two amazing guests. Our first guest is a dear friend to the show and a pastor right here at Streams of Joy International, Pastor Dr. D.K. Ukuku DK is in the house. Thank you for joining us and good morning. Good morning to you, Pastor Nalong. Happy New Month. <laughs> yeah, happy New Month to you and um, it's my pleasure being here again. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Our second guest today is a first time guest on the Strange Acts of God. He is no stranger to us right here at Streams of Joy International, however, because he is an associate pastor right here at Streams of Joy International. He goes by the name of Pastor Professor Chie Dozier Egesi. I'm so delighted to have you join us, sir. Good morning. Thank you, Pastor Nalong, and good morning. A Happy pleasure to be here. Month. Happy New Month. We're excited to have you. I am excited. You call me. Wow. <laughs> First time on the show today and Amazing. fresh from Ghana. Oh, Ghana. Prayer conference. <laughs> <laughs> Ghana was such an experience. Wow. It was wow, an experience. Wow, it was wow. an experience. So the people, the passion, mm. the hunger, mm. the miraculous, mm. the mm. crowd. Everything was My different. Goodness. Ghana was Ghana NSPPD Ghana prayer conference was something to talk about for a long, long time. Wow, Ooh. wow! I know you've been at probably all the NSPPD conferences so far. Would you say that this differed from the others in any way? You know, this is the first NSPPD conference in Africa, right. and Accra was the first point of call, mm. and it did not disappoint. Wow! Ghana was on fire. Wow! And and and. There's nothing like it. Mm. I mean, this is Africa. You mm. know the passion we go mm -hmm. with things. Mm -hmm. We go for things with, and and this is West Africa. Ooh. You know the the pepper is there, and it was <laughs> evident in the fire, <laughs> the fire that was there. It was evident, and it was a matter of you know somebody has brought down the power right through prayer. Pap our Papa Pastor Jerry, thank you, sir. Um, but but you know there was also a hunger. So when the hunger matches mm. the fire that has been brought down mm. at that altar, it was something else. It was, it was, hey. it was of course, the miracles you will see or you, you will hear about them even much later. Right. Uh, and you will see that it was great. It was an experience Hallelujah. that you, can, you could only wish to have been there. Wow. And uh, I am Ooh. very grateful that I was there. Ooh. Thank wow. you. Wow, wow. You know what? Let's take a recap and see, you know, just a little clip of NSPPD Ghana Prayer Conference 2024.
wow, wow, wow. First of all, the crowd. Wow. <laughs> oh my goodness, that crowd was massive. It Ooh. was a sea of heads. Right. Ooh. It was a sea of heads. And you know, because we were there a day before, we went there very early in the morning, like 6.30 a.m. Right. We were right at the venue to make sure Ooh. things were... People slept there. Wow. And uh, the crowd did not stop. It kept building up, building up, Ooh. building up, that mm. they went all over the place. There was a barricade. It's an open field, open space, right? right. Yeah. And there was a barricade, you know, chain, a chain wire fence mm. that was used. And people were now bringing chairs from their homes mm. outside the fence because the, the main area was not Sorry, did you say people were bringing their own chairs? People brought home? their own chairs from wow. home. They were bringing chairs from their cars. Wow. From, yes, people wow. were. Because, I mean, it was, it was, it was such an experience. Mm. And, and it got to the point that there was no way to access, you know, like we would hold the microphones to mm -hmm. take testimony. Mm -hmm. We couldn't access. Mm. In fact, we went out of range trying to assess. And, mm. and that was, mm. that was mm. people. They were just coming My and coming, and, and it was very nice to behold. Wow. I, I must tell you, I was wow. very excited. This, this, this is revival. This is revival yeah. because, you know, this was a call to prayer. Like we always say, Ooh. Papa always says as well, it wasn't Ooh. a political rally. It wasn't a music concert. It was a call to prayer. So to see Ghana, Ooh. the streets of Ghana, emptied out Ooh. just to come and pray. Ooh. Wow. You know, Jesus, when he was here, used to pull crowd and right. bring people, yeah. 2,000, right. 5,000. Yeah. Right. This was just Jesus, you know, raising the bar. It was just like... Right. We we have Ooh. been also going for other NSPPD conferences elsewhere, Ooh. and you see numbers, 30,000, 40,000. Right. This one was like 60,000 plus. Right. And this is just what we think we could, uh, you we know, could estimate, estimate mm. based on registration and based on what we prepared for on the My ground. Goodness. Because then when, he, when the numbers went you know, beyond what we could handle in terms of uh, counting, right. then we were, we were like... Who knows the numbers? <laughs> and and is a is a big issue for us because Papa announced that next year there will be Ghana NSPP. With the kind of thing we've seen, right. I, I really think I've been thinking where would be the next venue because mm. we really need to be thinking about the yeah. venue right. to have that kind of a thing. Wow, mm. Jesus still pulls the largest crowd. Still yes. pulls the crowd. Wow. Yes. Glory to Absolutely. God. Glory to God. We Absolutely. have four testimonies up mm. for review today. Mm. Our first testimony from NSPPD Ghana is a testimony from our sister Alice, and she tells testifies about marital breakthrough. Mm. We'll be right back. And Roy, the God that sees me, has shown me mercy. I'm a 48-year-old woman, and ever since I knew myself, no man has ever been serious with me. They will come, they will promise, they promise me heaven on earth. They show me big things. Me, big people approach me. But before I know, they go. I have prayed. I have um, sown seed. I have done whatever there is to do. Until 20, 2021, when I turned uh, 45, one of my mutual friends, very close friends, Sister Pat Tedeku, she called me. I went to her house and I was crying. Then she said, I don't have anything to give you. Take this link. So she gave me the, or, um, the link, and then I started praying. I was cast in a marketplace, community one market, that I should go and tell my family people that I would never get married in life, in my 20s. But on this altar, on this altar, God showed up for me. 2023. <laughs> foreign call the person was like do you remember me i said no he said go and check my profile and i will call you back i checked and i did not recognize the person then he called back and mentioned his name this was a man who has proposed to me in 95 29 years ago 29 years papa you won't believe this he called to propose. I asked 
asking how he got my number. Like joke, like joke, this man said he will not rest. I was the one delaying the thing because I wanted to be sure. I was used to, I love you and getting disappointed. So I wasn't moved. I was just dragging my feet. He asked people to call, um, talk to me. Papa, three months I got married. And I'm here to say thank you. Goodness, the seed is broken. Yeah. My God, yeah. you know, this is yeah. beyond just, you know, mm. a seed being broken. Yes. It's sure. beyond delay in marriage. Mm. It also points to a negative pattern being mm. broken. Because she mm. said, you know, men would come, they seemed good, mm. big men for that matter, mm. you know, and they would come, they would approach her, but then she, they would just never want to commit to her yes. for no, no known reason. You know, th this lady's testimony raises quite a, lot, a number of issues for right. me. Um, she, she speaks about, you know, at some point I was wondering whether I understood what she was saying. That's what I proposed to her in 1995. Uh -huh. That's about 20, as at the 20. time she eventually got married, that's about 28 years. Mm -hmm. And so it means that she was in a position to be proposed to. Right. Right. But of course, something also happened, uh -huh. uh, you know, courses laid and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. And year after year, people mm. would turn up. It, it almost reminds me about the man at the pool of Bethesda. Mm. Right. It's not that opportunities for marriage, marriage never turned up. Themselves. But she would be pro um, uh, she would interface with people. Mm -hmm. um, I love you. Mm -hmm. You're this. You're mm -hmm. that. And it ends there. And it just looks like there's a siege mm. saying you can interact with people. Hey. You can meet people. You can be assessed positively, Calibu. but you will never Calibu. cross Calibu. to the next level Calibu. of marriage. Calibu. And and this is what Calibu. was happening. Calibu. And you can imagine 1995. Mm. Now, 1995 is a long time. Hey. Next year will make it 30 years. Ha. So and then for nearly 30 years, someone was going through, always looking like she can be married, always looking like she can be in a relationship, but never getting to the point of marriage. Hmm. Until, but, but this is my excitement about, you know, NSPPD, that she got on the altar, someone, and thank God for the person that she met, right. that said to her, I don't know what I'm going to give to you, but I'll give you a link. Mm. And this link was the link to her deliverance. Right. This link was the link to her, you know, breaking forth. Uh -huh. Like the chain that had held her back, you know, the chain that the enemy had put in place and said, you will never cross this line, you mm. know? And, and the Bible will speak of how he has broken the gates of brass. Now, and, and, and this was the link to her deliverance. her deliverance. And she comes on the altar. Hallelujah. And God being so dramatic, uh -huh. God decides, you know, and yeah. you know, God has options when he wants to do miracles. Right. And there will still be miracles. Right. And God now says, you know what? Let me go back to 1995, ah. yeah. to an opportunity you missed in 1995, hey. mm, mm, to an opportunity mm. that should not come back. Right. That I mean, it shouldn't have come back. Hey. Right. And God goes back and ah. digs backwards and brings back an opportunity that was missing since 1995. Hey. Wow. And, and it was the person calling her and saying, check my profile, I'll call you back. And she checks and it turns out that it was someone who had, you know, this is God. This is God speaking about restoration. Ah. You know, when the Bible says, I will restore the years, right. this is quite dramatically God restoring the person that had made up his mind to marry her in 1995. Right. It's only God, you know, when God wants to restore, he, he goes out of his way to make this happen. Right. And, and this miracle, you see, that... And all of a sudden, she's the one that was saying, I was delaying it. Uh -huh, I didn't uh -huh. want to be in a hurry. Right. I mean, someone that has never really, mm. you right. know, it's never really looked like marriage was about to happen. Right. And then she's now the one delaying because she's asking herself, is, is this really real? about to happen? Like, is this for right. real? real? And it turns out that it's for, it's real. for real. So, you know, this miracle didn't just happen in in 2024 no. she had been married for a while uh -huh. and she's now like okay i think i cannot <laughs> come real. out and testify <laughs> i now believe you know like that, this is how um, um what's her name elizabeth right the bible says she got pregnant for six months she was she hiding, was hiding. Because it didn't make sense that right. this was happening. Right. And this is what I'm saying in this, you know, God has broken the siege. And, and, and this is why we know that what God cannot do does simply does not, not exist. exist. Does mm. not exist. And I know 
first mm. hand that you got to interview this mm. woman by yourself behind behind the scenes. Mm. Is, is there something she missed out at the point of testifying? No, it was just the sequence. I mean, a, a woman that is, mm. you know, she wasn't particularly that young right. and she steps up. She's saying she just got married mm -hmm. not too long ago. Mm. And I was like, tell me the story. And she started narrating the story. My it goodness. was super. She said, you know, the mockery, you know how mm. it is. People, it got into the mm. stage that you are a new identity. God had to change that identity. She, mm. was, she was known as that lady in the marketplace, in the mm. market, mm. you know, community one. Mm. But thank God for people like Sister Patty. Mm. She said, Sister Patty, everybody needs a Sister Patty in their yes. lives. Yes. Everybody. Yes. He said, silver or gold, I do not have. Mm. But what I have, I give to thee, right. you know, <laughs> like if the, the book of Acts said. So, mm -hmm. so she said she's going to give her this link. Yes. And mm. this is one thing we must all do. When we have people facing this, make sure you are, if you can't do anything, give them that link. Even right. if you can't pray for them, give them that link because right. there is something there. There is some power there that she can connect to. And ch so she, she got connected to the altar of fire, right, NSPPD, right. and her life began to take a turn Hallelujah. for the better. And, and you know, that, that 28 years, mm. it was just like living like that from your teenage years mm. till you are 40 plus. My That's a, a long lifetime mm. of mockery sadness Yay. you know there's something like the bible says about um, uh, uh, in the book of zechariah about the four horns mm. that have scattered judah mm. this lady has been scattered by you know mm. horn the mm. bible says that such to people nobody is able to raise their raise head, head lift up their heads mm. in judah mm. so mm. so this is that kind of a thing hey. until God provided for her through the NSPPD, the carpenters, you know, yeah, that, that, that would yeah, defray yeah, yeah. and yes. spoil Glory and scatter the, 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 the horns. Glory you know, like Papa will always say, for every four horns, yes. there are four yes. carpenters. Hallelujah. This is yeah. what was happening, yes. uh, that I see happening to the woman. Ooh. So hey. it is very important that she came to the altar and everything turned around for Ooh. her Hallelujah. within a space yeah. of, you know, a few months. A few and months. she's now married and is an unbelievable testimony. I would really have asked her, would you be able to go to co back to Community One Market to, <laughs> <laughs> to interact with them and say, right. Jesus has See done it. Jesus Lord did it. Uh -huh. You know that Jesus, uh -huh. yeah, she can sing that song. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It was such God. a beautiful hey, sight. Hey, the mm. siege mm. is it's broken. broken. Mm. At the age of 47, Seven. the mm. negative pattern. After series of heartbreaks upon heartbreaks mm. can you imagine that when that man came she didn't even recognize him mm. that's to tell you time. so many people have broken her heart she wasn't was even three holding three decades three wow. decades wow you know, wow it was, it was such an the experience the siege Ooh. was broken and Ooh. she's happily married what our god cannot do does not, does not, does exist. not exist we have a second and third testimony from sister grace and she testifies of a miraculous career breakthrough our third testimony is from our sister margaret and she testifies of a family breakthrough. We'll be right back after these testimonies. I have been in a job for seven years. I was very comfortable until my sister introduced NSPPD to me. And when I joined NSPPD and I was hearing big testimonies, I knew that I, can, I also deserve big. So somewhere in January, a woman gave a testimony and she said, when she hears Papa say anything, she'll write and record. So I also picked a diary and I started writing and I record. 23rd January, Papa said, there is someone here, a better job, almost a thousand times. I grabbed it, I wrote it down and I recorded I started praying with it. 9th February, Papa said, there is someone here, there is a job that will change your title. I said, ah, this is my own. I wrote it down and I recorded it. So I started praying with these two recordings like I was a crazy woman. If I'm anywhere, I'll pray. One day, I slept and I saw Papa in my dream and he said something in my ear I didn't hear but when I woke up I said as I've seen Papa in my dream my case is settled now I was there throughout and then I got a call a job I had spoken about but I was not getting anything from them they called me and they said they want me to start today because they need me urgently I said ah but I never applied for it they said if you can start today we'll be happy how much do you want that is when I know that Eroy has seen me when he when they said how much do you want i didn't say anything no but the person mentioned exactly thousand times of what i was getting in my previous exact not even one city difference then i knew that a roy had seen me so now the person said okay come and meet us and let's continue the conversation the day when i was driving to the place 
Then I went and I saw, oh Lord, show me mercy. As I was praying, then Papa said something that there is someone here. You are going for an interview. Ask for more. Don't give it. I don't know who you are. You are going for an interview this morning. Don't say the Lord have already gone ahead of you. This is for you to know that this is the word of the Lord. You will be given a level above what you are asking. You are going to be given above. Above. And I said, ah, this is an old recording. It is not even life. It is an old papa. It is not even a life recording. It's an old recording. Then I said, no, this is God. So I grabbed it. When I got there and I sat down, they said, oh, we've already discussed the previous one we want to give you, but I want to add more to it. So can you add more? That was my... So they added more. That they backfounded my testimony. Now, this is job. If God wants to show you that this is the job that he gave you. As I was in this job, one of the days I was praying and Papa said, you are here, your job will take you global. I said, this is a job that I don't even qualify or something. So how would this job take me global? I was there one day, as I said, amen to Papa. That very day, Papa, that very day I was in my office. Then I got a knock. Then my PA said, they said, Madam, you have some people with a letter. I said, what is it? He said, Madam, they have said that they are giving you a global award. I said, me. That very day. So they gave me and 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 what topped it that the first day that i was starting work there was a promotion available and i said that papa gave me this job nsppd god there is no way that this promotion will pass in front of me so even if i am not qualified for the first one i deserve more than that so i prayed as i was on my way they called me and said congratulations you've been promoted on my first day of work. i just want to say what god cannot do that's not as this. God bless you, Papa Jerry. May the oil on your head never run dry. In 2021, I applied for one of the competitions for women in business. Over 50,000 women, you know, applied for that. And they selected 37,000 women. 37,000 women, from them we were cut to 500. From 500, we were cut to 100. And I told God, I say I want to win this competition, but it's very competitive. What do I do? I brought it to the altar of fire. I was praying. One morning, while I was praying, Pastor Jerry said, on the 8th of October 2021, he said, I don't know how many people are looking for what you are looking for. It has been reserved for you. <laughs> what? I had on to that prophecy. On the day of the pitching of our business, we were asked to pitch five panelists from five different countries. Now, after pitching, none of them had a question for me. They asked the first panelist, do you have a question for her? I said, no, she answered everything. The second one, the third one, the fourth one, the fifth one, none of the panelists asked me one question. And on the 7th of December that year, we, the winners were going to be announced. They announced the winner, the fifth position. The person was from Ghana. The fourth position from Zimbabwe, you know, they kept on announcing. And then they announced the second position. The person also was from one of the African countries. There were 10 African countries in that competition. And I said, God, I didn't hear my name. The Holy Spirit said, you asked for first position. It has been the suffering. And then I was just watching. I was speaking in tongues. And the next thing they said, and the winner is Margaret Obasi. My daughter, my first daughter in secondary school, she applied for a scholarship. She was very scared. I said, don't worry. We are on this altar. Every morning I will bring them. Every night I'll, before they go to school, I will give them the communion. At night at 2 a.m., I will lay hands on the four of them. I have four children. I will lay hands on them. I will decree over their lives. I say, all of you, you will school with scholarship. I will not pay one copper for your school fees. And then she will apply for this scholarship. And then the exam came. On the day of the exam, in that on that morning on NSPPD, Pastor Jerry said, I release the mantle for ease. It shall be easy. Tell me something. I grabbed it. I said, my daughter, it shall be easy. Don't be scared. Your case has been mentioned on the altar. While she was writing the exam, I was in the kitchen. I was kabashing. It shall be easy. It shall be easy. Mantle for ease. And I tell you, when she finished the exam, I said, how was it? She said, mommy, what God cannot do does not exist. On the 11th of February, the list of the successful scholars were released. And my daughter's name was on the list. We did pray. Now 
to my husband's business. Hey, my husband is this kind of person that will tell you, ha, when you want to pray, please go there. This noise is too much. I have begged this guy. Join this altar. He said, no. Uh-uh. Me, where's senior pastor Jerry? What do you want pray? What? No, he pray. I say, eh? Now by age, Agbani, join altar. He refused. In 2023, his business saw a lot of challenges, setback. At the point, he called me. He said, babe, have you stopped praying for me? I said, no. I didn't stop praying for you, but you have refused to join where it is happening. In December, I begged him. I said, boo, 21 days fasting is coming. Join it. If after this fasting, you don't see a turn around in your business, leave it. Leave the altar. He said, okay. And he joined. For the first time in my husband's life, hey, I'm 14 years in marriage. For the first time, my husband did 6 to 6, 21 days. I no believer. The guy said, boo, that thing that is happening in your life, in my own life, me too will collect. He joined the altar. 21 days he finished his fasting. He was still in Lagos. His clients were in Enugu calling him. Oh boy, how far now? How far now? So now, we get deal for you. And then he traveled back to Enugu for the first time since my husband started to do his own business. Yes, he will close deals. One million, two million. But for the first time, this guy closed deal that we were counting the zeros. Come on, tell me what God cannot do. Now, let me tell you about my career. I am a high performer. When it comes to career, I am very active. I am very good. People will talk about me. My name is everywhere. But at the end of the year, when it is time to do the rating, they will always place me on average for 14 years. Average. average. So it got to the point. I was just like, well, career is not for me. Let me just be doing my job. I'm not one of those that will get exceptional. And you know, when I joined the altar, I placed my career on the altar. Now, for the first time in 2022, I got one promotion. I was excited. I was transferred from Enugu to Lagos. I came down to Lagos on July 30th. Then July 31st, the service that day was titled A New Thing. Pastor Jerry said, you, there's somebody here, you are listening to me. You just got promoted and you are celebrating. This is a position you're supposed to have been 10 years ago and you are just celebrating it now. I tell you, God is placing your career on the speed lane. He is doing a new thing for you. I grabbed it. I saw a seed. I partner. I promise God. I said 50% of my salary, I will sow it. Others are giving 10%. I'm giving you 50%. Take it all. Change my career story. And I tell you, in 2023, for the first time in 14 years, I got rated exceptional. And that is why I'm in Ghana here. My company sent me to Ghana for a six-month project to prepare me for my new level. And I tell you, more levels are coming. I have come here to testify. I am going to celebrate ahead of me because the Lord has created a space for me at the top. What God cannot do? Hey, hallelujah. Wow, 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 Multiple wow, testimonies. Wow, wow. Her husband, her, her daughter, her business, her career. Glory wow. to God. You know, mm. I always say the thing that is, the one thing that is better than a personal breakthrough is a family breakthrough. Family when breakthrough. you and everyone around yes. you has is breaking through at the same, same time. time. The nominal testimonies, Absolutely. my God. And you know, um, for me, the exciting thing about this woman is, and even the first, uh, uh -huh, the, the uh -huh. earlier testifier, yes. they would speak about how they were on the altar. Right. And Papa said, you know, um, the ministry of the word of knowledge, mm. when the man of God says there's someone here, mm -hmm. this has happened to you, that has happened to you, you know, and these people were hearing the word, words that apply to their situation mm. and you know this is the exciting thing again about God mm. that God knows everyone who is on an SPPD right. yes. and knows what they're dealing with right. and knows that there's this particular this is why I love Elroy right. and he knows there's a particular right. person and he speaks a word and the owner of the word knows hey, this is, this my, is word. my word is my and word. they took their word mm -hmm. right. and you're seeing a litany of testimonies upon testimonies Kai. some of them sounded like the other person you know how we kept you know behind the scenes arguing 
Did this really happen? Did this really yeah. happen? I'm not sure what she's saying. Hey! I'm not sure what she's saying. <laughs> 1,000 well, times just, more. It's just unbelievable, right? Unbelievable. But this is what happened. Hey. Because this was the word she got on the altar. Ah. Now, when you're looking at it, you know, when you want to calculate this kind of thing, you're asking yourself, how is this even going to happen? Right, right, you know, just right, like right. Mary asked the angel, how, how, how exactly, right. how shall this, this thing be? be? Right. How, what, by what mechanism is hey. this going to come to pass? Because mm -hmm. it's sounding too good to be true, mm. but the God who knows what he wants to do says it ah. and goes ahead to do it. Right. And it's my excitement about NSPPD that the words are not empty words, that mm -mm. when God is speaking, he's saying it because he wants to do it. Hmm. And so when I'm on NSPPD, I should just take up all the words because everything God right. is soak saying, them up, soak right. them up. what Elroy soak says, Elroy does. Elroy does what he says. What Elroy El says, mm. Elroy does. He's mm. not stranded. He's not mm -mm. like, he, he's not a politician making mm. a promise without being sure of whether he can fund the promise. Right, right, okay, right. So this is uh, both the first person and then the second lady. And then she kept testifying and testifying. And one exciting part for me in her testimony, that's the second lady, right. is that her husband is now, you know, testimonies that make men to turn to Christ. Mm. Right. Mm. Testimonies mm. that mm. make men mm. to say, mm. you know mm. what, I'm, I'm getting closer to Jesus. Mm. Testimonies that make men to embrace the fullness mm. of Christ. Testimonies that make men to say, you know what, now I know of a shorty that this God is real. Mm. And he begins to join in, you know, spiritual activity, fasting mm. and, and prayers and all of that that he because he has seen the evidence of the mm. prayers of the wise. Yeah. And so, you know, this is why I know that for people who have been on the altar, your life tells, a, a, the evangelism of your life is so perfect because there are things that people would see mm. and they begin to believe God more. Right. Mm. This is why right. I must right. believe God right. for my miracles right. because right. whether there are miracles on the altar, there are miracles. Mm. But whether I now position or posture myself to be able to receive from God, mm. they will say on so and so date. Uh, you know, I'm amazed when some of these people talk about how on so and so day At they heard time? this word. Right. So and so day they right. heard this word. Right. These were people keeping their word, keeping holding it. on to their right. word, and insisting Warring with God with right. that this word must come to pass. Right. And by their testimony, hey. a man is now looking and saying. Saying, you know what? I think I had better get closer to this right, God right. and get closer to the to, to the God of the fire altar. And right now, his life beyond the testimonies, his for me, almost, what I would think is the biggest testimony is the testimony of getting closer to the right, master right, by right. virtue of what he has seen right. in the life of his wife. Right. Mm. You know, I heard that testimony of a thousand times more, and mm. I had to do a background check. Is this mm. woman certain? Mm. Of, do you know what mm. a thousand, mm. not a hundred, mm. a thousand, mm. thousand times, times more mm. is? And just to show that it was God, it wasn't even one Ghanaian CDs above a thousand. It was yes, exactly, exactly a more. thousand times more. Mm. This is just unbelievable. And you know what she said? God, Elroy is able to do what he said he would. Mm -hmm. It wasn't mm -hmm. a campaign promise. Mm -hmm. yes. When he said yes. a thousand times more, mm -hmm. he Mentics. meant a thousand mm -hmm. times more. Mm -hmm. And he gave a thousand times more. Mm -hmm. And even the other lady that, you know, said they were counting zeros, counting zeros. I know you got the chance to interview her. No, I got the chance to interview her. And you don't want to know the amount of wow. zeros there. And I was wow. like, are you sure? We, we had to say, are you sure? She hmm. said yes. And that she, I mean, the husband... Everything turned around for the Ooh. husband. Hmm. And like uh, Pastor DK was saying, I mean, there's nothing better than a family uh, miracle. Right. It is reaching everyone. Going the around. daughter Ooh. is able to, you know, he, she got a word Ooh. and told the daughter, the word I got for you is that it shall be easy. Right. Ooh. And God has settled it. And Ooh. what did the girl say? What God can, can not, after the interview, what God cannot do doesn't does exist. And she got it. So tell me how you're going to tell that girl something else about hey. God that she will tell you she's doubting God no she, or the man after he has said I don't want this prayer it's too noisy uh -huh, uh -huh, find uh -huh. somewhere else to pray and he finally saw that it's working for her it's not just that it's working for her so let's Ooh. be dealing right. and enjoying her own right. it is working also in my own life right. and in my business and I can say it hey. I mean how do you move from one million naira one million naira, that is, that's the kind of right, business you're right. doing. Two million naira to several hundred, you know, you know, zero, zeros. My she said several zeros. Right. And, 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 and that's so amazing. And it takes to the point that if God had 
you know, if God, if you, are, if you, if you, if you, if you give yourself to this altar, if mm. you give yourself to the kind of prayer we do, mm. is you're going to have the miracle is there. God is just waiting hey. for you to show up Ooh. with with hey. the miracle that Ooh. belongs to you. Ooh. Think about that woman. Her first opening statement is that the first woman, Grace. Mm -hmm. Grace said, "I was already comfortable. I didn't need <laughs> more. Job. I, I was already I comfortable." She <laughs> and you look at her. She, even, even when she was being interviewed, right. she said she was okay. I mean, I did, I did. But when you come to God, your level cannot remain the same. Exactly. Your level needs Ooh. to change. Right. Once you contact this fire, Ooh. it will not remain. You can. Your life cannot be the Ooh. same again. Hey. If you thought you were Ooh. very good, right. God has something better. Right. It says from glory to, to glory. glory. What does that mean? Right. Sister There's Glory was. Glory. Sister Grace was. You know, displaying that it, there is always another level There's of another glory. Level yesterday's of glory, glory is hey. still. You know, yesterday's glory is ash. Right. You know, pour it away because right. God has a fresh fire right. and a fresh glory to right. present. Ooh. And this is what this altar is about. Ah. We do not rest on yesterday's glory. No way. We are always yes. receiving fresh fire. Mm. Thank you again, our Papa, Pastor mm. Jerry. Thank you for all the sacrifices, all the efforts right. that you make sure that the fire, the, the altar is not fireless. Hey. That the altar is Ooh. filled with ash. Ash. You mm. are making sure that yesterday's ash does not come to today's, uh, uh, you know, presentation, mm. and, and that every day at the altar of fire seems fresh. The mm. testimonies seem fresh. The word is always fresh. The prayer points, the word of knowledge, everything mm. is fresh. Hey. So once you are there, uh, you know, you move from one level to, to a higher level. level. It was so in her job, in her recruitment. How do you even think about you are starting work today a thousand right. times more, thousand and times you are still more. promoted on right. your first right. day, right. not your first week? Right. I mean, it's right. just, how do you even explain you know, it? You know, the testimony was progressive. It was Ooh. happening, you know, in real time as, you know, God is sure. saying, God Ooh. is doing. And she she believed for a thousand times more. Yes. She got a thousand times more. Ooh. As she was going, she was watching an old NSPP. Old game. one, old one. And then one. Papa says, and you are on your way. Show me mercy. Right. And, and, and there was a word that says, you are on your way. But when you get there, you will be offered more than you were previously offered. Ooh. So she got there. And then on, she was offered more than she was previously offered. And oh. then on the resumption day, she was promoted yet right, again. Right. So I think we need, we, just, we need to take the limits of God. God right, can right, do right, right. just about anything. So, so, so you know the thing about God? Um, the, the, the problem is not God, really. Mm -hmm. The it's problem us. is can we our, believe our it? level. It's right. Us. Because at my level, mm. I can, I, you know, I, we plan according to our capacity, mm. right? I look at what I can make happen. Mm. I promise according to what I can make happen. Mm. I even sometimes, and that's the problem with us sometimes with regard to receiving, I have expectations according to what I can see. Right. Yeah. But the thing with God is that God... Mm. Is the owner of the universe. Right. So when he's making a promise, hey. he's not short of what to use and fulfill his promise. Hey. When he's saying, I'll do this, he has done bigger stuff before. Right. When he's saying, you know, when you realize that the God who is promising is the same God who just looked at everywhere and said, you know what, let there be light. Right. And then he made two great lights, he made a greater light, mm. made a lesser light, mm. and thousands of years later, they are still where they are. Hey. Yep. Right? Yep. So, yep. And he made the light and he placed it on, in the firmament. In the firmament. You know, Genesis 1 tells you a little about who God is right. and how not small he is. Right. Right. And so when I'm hearing what God is saying, mm. and this is the beauty that it is not, you know, when the man of God is making prayers and making proclamations, it is not just, it is not just, great ideas now it would be a good idea for me to say that god will bless you no it is by the utterance of the, the holy, holy spirit. spirit and he's saying look at what god so he's not speaking for himself no he's speaking on behalf of god he's right. speaking like an oracle he's, hey. he's saying what heaven will have him say hey. and you know when you're speaking on behalf of heaven uh -huh. the heaven that sent you to speak mm. Mm. Uh -huh. is mm. already mm. Positioned, ah. positioned, has positioned. prepared ahead of time. Uh -huh. right. You know, it's not like heaven says, "Go and, and say it." And, and then after you said it, heaven is not thinking, "How eh, do I feel?" How we going to make it happen? Right, right, heaven right. already has the end figured right, out, right. and now says, "You know, we just go make the proclamation." Right. Mm. And that's why the Bible says He confirms the words of His servants. Right. He does the bidding of His servants. He puts words in their mouth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just for mm -hmm. the um, divine protocol, allows them to speak, and then they speak, and he turns up. Right. And that's how you know when 
it is a real prophet who is speaking. Right. right. That he is right. speaking right. and right. heaven is back. Right. He's backing right. it up right. immediately. Right. In the first place, it is heaven that sent him to speak. Right, mm -hmm. right, mm -hmm. right. You know, if I send you to speak, mm -hmm. I am under obligation to right. fulfill whatever you've spoken on my behalf. Right. And, and this is my excitement. So you don't come to the altar thinking, oh, they're just making prayers. A lot of people will say, oh, it was too loud. Mm -hmm. You know, um, all of that, you know, forget about the pattern mm -hmm. and all of that. But the most important thing and the most not be um, um, underemphasized is that it is God who sent right. the prophet. Exactly. And so everything mm. the prophet is saying, even when it does not sound as prophetic as you would like a prophecy to sound, right? Because it is God that has sent the prophet to speak. Right. There is a performance, right. a performance waiting for everything that has been uttered. And that's why you hear, so on, um, you're on your way to um, um, an interview, right. you're on your way to this, you're on right. your way to... I think there was one um, uh, some, some um, months back mm -hmm. that someone was on the way uh -huh. to hospital. Uh -huh. <laughs> to, to, check. Ho to hospital to, for something. Yes, yes, and yes. the prophecy came on the altar on the right, and right. they got there and everything had changed. Right, so right. dramatic. Mm -hmm. right. So dramatic. And people wonder, why is this like this? Uh -huh. I, I understand perfectly a lot of people can't wrap their heads around. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. if, mm -hmm. like Prof was saying, we had to ask again, is it really 1,000 times? Yes, 1,000 times more. Until some of these details, it's just that we can't put out every detail right, 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 of right, people's right, testimonies. Right, 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 right. You know, sometimes we can't put out all right, the details everything. and right. all that. But this is because, yeah, you're looking at it, it sounds impossible. How? But that's how big heaven makes it happen. Right. And so I, 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 as I listen to these testifiers, I'm even just speaking to myself like, right. Don't come with your the mindset of a right. man that you are. You're, mm -hmm, you're a man, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and you calculate according to right. what a man can right. make happen. Right. Heaven is up to a lord. Right. Heaven has got capacity. Right. Heaven is not afraid of your problem. Right. Heaven is not afraid of fulfilling what it has said. Right. So I just come. I believe. And heaven makes it happen because hey, what God cannot do does simply not does not exist. exist so, does not exist. Who is next in line ooh. for a family breakthrough? Not just I a breakthrough. You will break through. Your husband will break through. That's Your children, children will break through. That's All true. round every breakthrough on every side. Yep. Receive it That's in true. the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. Wow. Amen. Our fourth and final testimony for today is just a compilation ooh. of the avalanche of miracles we got to see at NSPPD Ghana. Ooh. There were healings, there were Ooh. breakthroughs, there were deliverances. Watch and we'll be right back after this testimony. Is that 
a miracle already. No, no, no. We have not reached the time for a miracle. Oh, that's a miracle. We are still praying. We are still. That, that's 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 a walking dead. Oh, that's a brother. Walk. What is going on, God? What is going on? She threw it on the floor and began to walk. Ghana, let me tell you something. Every NSPBD conference, we have a time for healing. So when I'm done and I preach, then I will pray for healings and they will start happening. But in Ghana, we are still doing She's been diagnosed with bronchial pneumonia 
for over five years. She has loads of asthma attacks as well. Just as you prayed, she said she felt a rush of fresh air inside her lungs. And all of a sudden, her airways just opened up. And she's free. She said she can feel her breathing completely free. Oh God, what Jesus cannot do. Just Since 2022, she has not been able to walk straight. But as you were praying, look at it here. With this stick, she has to walk. But now, Mama, just walk. Here you walk. Here you walk. Look at that. She can walk straight. Look at that. Look at that. Without this stick. Without this stick. Look at that. Look at that. It looks like God is the horizontal time. When frequency urinations, he had the same problem. He would even wet himself. He said he had loads of hate all over his body. The same thing like the last man. He's been here before 3 p.m. today. He says there is no hodge, no frequent. He has not gone. He doesn't feel like even going. He's been drinking loads of water since he came here. Papa, even the pain he had on the sides, everything is gone. Oh, he says God has done it. He's going back to Nigeria free. Oh God, we prepared. We, we thought we we're going to have it small. We moved from 10,000 to 20,000 to 30,000 to 40,000 to 50,000 to 60,000. And now we are here. Ghana is telling us you are not even ready. People of God, I hear that people standing are more than those that are sitting. Ghana, by this time next year, by this time next year, NSPPD Ghana Prayer Conference. We'll be back to Afflictions miracles. roll the way, instant Ooh, healings, instant, instant miracles. miracles. Instant I mean, turnarounds. I, saw, I saw a testimony of someone that you know it happened even before the conference started, just by stepping into the ground. Ooh. Yeah, there was that man you, you saw it right. just now, incontinence, right? So, and these are people that like I mentioned earlier. So people that came there before hey. in the morning. So the man came long in the, you know, maybe midday uh -huh. and sat down. But he realized that as he came into that place, the atmosphere, there was an atmosphere that was already there. Yeah. And hey. the man, you know, he noticed he wasn't feeling like going to the restroom again. Anymore. He wasn't going to use the restroom. And mm. he thought, and I think there was a part he said that he was now drinking water and mm. not going to the restroom mm. all that while before they would have messed themselves up. Right. There were two of them, My actually. Goodness. And they would have messed themselves. So so what I saw in Ghana was there was hunger, right? real hunger. You see all those numbers? It wasn't just about number. It was the number of hungry people, hungry, hungry people. for the power of God. Right. And you know, the Bible says, in thy people shall be willing in, in the, the day days. of right. thy power. Right. These are the days of God's power. Right. God is really ready to demonstrate. Like you were earlier saying, God is ready to demonstrate his power. Uh -huh. Are we ready? We are ah. the ones that God is waiting for. Right. His power is limitless. Right. He's ready to turn things around. Uh -huh. Can you imagine a man? You know, what would you tell that old man? He, he just feels like, I am a new man. I'm a Ooh. young man. Hey, I, I'm no longer, my God. identity yeah. is no longer the one that, you know, messes himself right. up. You right. know the joy that comes with, I don't mess myself up again. You are, I'm in control of right. my life once right. again. That is something that Jesus does at this kind of altar uh -huh. and in this kind of place. Ooh. And and you look at the other people, the women, they were countless. You know, Papa has not even started preaching. Right. He was minutes. just like trying Ooh. to ginger the way he would just say, mm -hmm. let us pray, let us speak Speaking into the tongue, tongues. let us right. shout fire. We were right. still trying to start shouting fire. fire. The next thing we saw, 
wheelchairs, wheelchairs up, empty. crutches My up. God. They were not just empty, they were lifted up. So that was when he said, what am I seeing? Uh -huh. You know, what am I seeing? Is, hey. that a, is that a wheelchair? No, 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 we have not started. But Goodness. really, God was not waiting for anybody right, to right, start. Right, God right. was in a hurry was in a to hurry. turn around things right, for people right. that are hungry. That's, that's the place of hunger. Right. When you are hunger Ooh. and you meet God, it's different. Right. You know, God, you know, God was ready to do it and he started doing it before we even started opening the Bible. Uh -huh. Miracles had happened. Even after he had finished opening the Bible and giving us the charge, mm. there was still another outbreak again. Mm. It was like, it was like, that thing that the Bible says in, the Amos, in Amos uh, chapter 9, it says it will happen back to back. Uh -huh, we could uh -huh. not keep pace with swim. it. Ooh. Our heads were swimming, right, actually. Right. The, those of us who were taking the testimonies, our heads were actually swimming. Right. And I'm sure for the rest of the people in the, in the, in the, in the uh, it's not auditorium, in the open, open space, field. in the open field, everybody's head was turning. We could not, you know, you turn around before you, everybody was saying, Papa, over here. Papa, I have a miracle here. But it was like, Hey. It was it was Holy Ghost pandemonium, right, and it was right. really it was really Ghana was ripe. It was ah. the right time. Think about it. Streams of Joy does not have a branch in, in Ghana. Ghana. We don't no, even have don't a have Bible a study there. group. Right. And, and we had this kind of, it was really like God is ready to do something. You right. know, what I took out there is that we have not, like Papa said also, we, we need to go and get ready right. and do this thing because God is in a hurry to do, to what? turn lives around. People yeah. are suffering. People yeah. are going through difficulties, yeah. afflicted, and God is saying, would I see a man? Thank you again, our Papa. Because he says, would I see a man that will stand in the gap? Would right. I see a man to step up to the call, right, right. to step up to yeah. the bidding? There is a yeah. lot happening, yeah. and God is counting on you and I. So I'm personally very grateful to be part of this move, mm -hmm. and I really bless God for our Papa, our hey. man of God, Pastor Jerry, who is answering the call right now and making sure he's yeah. calling us to be part of it. Right. And, I, you know, it, it, that place is where you will see what God cannot do. People that have been lying sick, right. they have bed reading, carried right. to the, to the to open the field. field, carried, and they, they were getting their healings. Hey. And like I can tell you, what we got is just a, it's just right. a handful. Exactly. We could not, we could right. not reach Ooh. out, but Ooh. they went home with their miracles. Hey. And, and I'm looking forward to hearing those miracles. Absolutely. They will send in their videos Absolutely. because we just could not help it. Ooh. Right. You Ooh. know, what we're celebrating right now is Ooh. just what cameras could cover. Yes. Yes. There was so much more yes. that happened in the environment yes. that you know, cameras couldn't cover. There were yes. some that happened that, you know, the microphone didn't get to them. Mm. You know, there were those mm. watching online that mm. even received their testimonies sure, as well. Sure, sure, there were those sure, that sure. watched, you know, the repeat broadcast thereafter. Mm. And, got there. and even right now, I believe that, you know, people are still... The power the of God is available. Right, and the testimonies mm. are still pouring out. Mm. So, I mean, what God did in Ghana, mm. you know, I, I don't think there's an end to it. And I yes. don't think it can be yes. expressed in words. Right. Yes, mm. right. You know, you know, it was Job that said that, he is a God who does wonders without, without numbers. numbers yep. You know, you can't number what God is doing. Right. When it's it's when I'm doing something, uh -huh. I'm, I'm the one doing something mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. my capacity is limited. You can't number what I'm doing. Right. And and you see that in that place. I mean, I I, I was told at some point the aisles were, you know, because the crowd kept increasing. Right. So. Even the people to take testimonies could, you know how um, some people could come to the front. At some point, even the people holding the microphones couldn't, couldn't come out reach. from where they were because mm -mm. everywhere had been blocked. Right. And, and, and it reminds me of the pattern of or the typology of the ministry of Jesus. The Bible says say a lot of times the power of God was available, available. to heal the sick. Right. And Jesus at the beginning of his ministry in Luke chapter 4 would, you know, um, uh, read from the uh, the scroll when when he took the scroll in the in the synagogue mm -hmm. and he read out w where we now know to be Isaiah 61 mm -hmm. and said the spirit of the Lord God is upon me, me for he has anointed me to preach deliverance recovery of sight to the blind you know um, uh, jubilee and all of that so it, when 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 it is God uh -huh. right. you know and this is the beautiful thing about uh, some of these NSPD conferences or even NSPD on its own it's not the agenda of man mm -mm. Mm. it's not the plan of man mm. because when a man has to make a plan man has to provide for his plan right man you know if i'm planning a trip i'll provide for my trip 
I'll plan for what will happen in the mm -hmm. trip, right. mm -hmm. you know, because they, it's incumbent on me because I'm the one, it's my idea. Mm -hmm. But, you know, when God comes up with a plan, right. mm -hmm. heaven, right. Right. unfortunately, heaven can't even tell you everything yep. it has planned. Mm -hmm. Heaven can't, heaven can tell out. you mm -hmm. part of what, which is what happens to Papa a lot of times. Mm -hmm. He says, God has told me this will happen today, this will happen today. That day, heaven will do much more than what Papa was told. Right. Because heaven cannot... The, the Bible says, if everything Jesus did were to be written, mm. no right. book mm. on no earth book on would earth. contain mm. it. Right, right, because right. what God was doing through Jesus while he was on earth was so much. It, what you read in Matthew, Mark, Luke, John is just a summary Hey. of what right, Jesus did. Right, right. The power of God was available to heal the sick. He didn't give us the numbers details, and all that. And because the numbers, it's mm -hmm. difficult to count what right. God is doing. Right, 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 and right. so you see that God is saying, okay, go to Ghana. Yeah. We know the battles that came against it. And then God decides at a time that is not time for miracles. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Normally the protocol the is protocol. you preach, <laughs> right. you know, you pray, right. you know, and, and, and expect you know, God the miracles. Will start, yeah. And then Later you're on. trying to minister and God himself the the interrupts you. Right. Right. Said, You've prepared, you know, you know the thing about, <laughs> it, you know, one thing I know about the ministry of Pastor Jerry right. is that he, he takes time to hear what God wants him to say. Right. Mm -hmm. And then after God has said, okay, look at what I want you to say, the same God comes and interrupts right. yeah. the person he yeah. has told yeah. what right. he should right. say. Right. Yeah. You know? And then the man is asking, who is going on there? You know? <laughs> I was just looking at I said, what's going on? You know, because I was watching, I wasn't there physically. And I was asking myself, you know, you know when you're wondering, sorry, um, has he finished preaching? Right, what's was, going know, on? You're just wondering right. what's going on. Mm. But it's all happening like in Amos 9.13, as Message Translation will put mm -hmm. it, everything will happen, happen so, fast, so fast, one thing on the, the heels, heels of, of, of another. Yonder. Wherever you look, blessings. blessings. And that's what was going right, on there. So right. I, I, I feel excited mm -hmm. that God will do all of this in my time and my life to see miracles an outbreak of mm. miracles, an outbreak of signs and hey. wonders. But for me, the, the biggest takeaway from all of this is when heaven makes a plan, uh -huh. heaven has got more than enough allocation Provision. Right. Provision. Right. Provision. Provision. for Provision. heaven's Absolutely. plan. Yeah. If, God, if God says, uh -huh. go there and do NSPBD um, uh, prayer conference in right. Ghana, Every miracle that was to happen there, heaven had more than the crowd could take. Right, right, uh, right, you right, right. Heaven right. had enough for people at home. That's heaven right. had enough for people that came early. Mm -hmm. Heaven was in a hurry to hey, start. Even before the hurry. program started, a lot of things were happening. Right. Even before the man of God, we know the protocol. We know how this right, is happening. Right, but right. even before the man of God will get into it, hey. heaven was in a hurry. Ah. And, and it speaks to the phase, you know, the ministry... Mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. everything that God is doing. You know, God graduates whatever he right, 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 right. Some things we see in life is a reflection of the person of God. God graduates, uh -huh. and by the end of the ministry of Jesus, Jesus will say, greater works. Hey. Greater works. Mm -hmm. Now, I've done wonders that could only be summarized. And then I'm going back to the Father. I'm handing over to you guys. The mandate now on you guys is greater, uh, greater than, greater. Jesus. My own that I did was right, so much right. that they could only they summarize. Could only and, and, and I'm now giving you greater works. Hey. Greater works that you can't even summarize. Um, uh, greater works, wonders without numbers. Hey. And, and that's what I'm seeing happening. And if this is how God would respond in the first NSPVD conference in Africa, in Africa. Mm -hmm. the first NSPVD conference for the year, right? I can only imagine hey, what is about what is to happen to in in the next in the coming months, mm. whether on NSPVD on itself mm -hmm. or or on um, NSPVD you know conference. prayer conferences. Because I mean, when we are on NSPVD, you know, actually that we have maybe more numbers than what you had in Ghana. Right, right, right. All right. online. Right. Right. So it's actually right. one right. big, right. Right. one right. big crusade, the right. power of God going all over the place, uh -huh. exciting people, Elroy, hey, seeing someone in Ghana, seeing God. someone in Canada, Masha, seeing someone in the US, Tiana, seeing someone Nana, in the UK, Masha. and attending to all of them mm -hmm. at the mm -hmm. same time. Right. So I can only imagine what God is about to do, and right. ahead of all that God Give will do, you know, Papa will say, how will you shout? Hey! <laughs> oh my God, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited right. to see what God has done. I'm right. excited about what he's about to do. Mm, mm. Mm. 
You know, this, um, what we see on the field is a representation of what happens when we are online, actually. Yes. Right. Just that we don't yes. get to see it. Yes. Angels are dispatched to Brazil, yes. to Italy, yes. to Nigeria, yes. to Sokoto, mm -hmm. just all yes. around the globe. So mm -hmm. when we gather like this on yes. the field, we get to see in the physical what happens daily mm -hmm. on NSPPD in the spiritual. Right. Wow, well, right. phenomenal right. testimonies. And it's yes. like, like you said, God is multiplying these miracles city by city. You know, we went to London, we went to America. Now we're in Ghana, we're seeing such a multiplication effect to the testimonies, the healings, and my God, what a phenomenal conference. Ooh. NSPPD Ghana, what have we heard today? Four <laughs> outstanding testimonies. We started out with a marital breakthrough at the age of 47. After several heartbreaks, the siege mm. was broken, and our sister got married in a hurry. Wow. Glory to God. We had another yeah, testimony, yeah. miraculous career breakthrough, 1,000 times more. Who has faith to believe Ooh. God for 1,000 times, times more, more today? Wow. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. We had yet another testimony of a family breakthrough. Mm. Glory to God. And my goodness, an avalanche of miracles, of Ooh. healings, of deliverances. You know, the beauty of, of um, NSPPD conferences is that what we get to show are just the physical things we can see. Right, like the, yes, right, the people that right, were able to drop their right, crutches and right, walk, right. the eyes that open, the mm -hmm. ears that hear. So we are only able to see healing testimonies that are evidence on the spot. Right. There are people that are going to go back and conduct a test and see that HIV has disappeared, right, cancer has right, disappeared. Right, there are people that right, are going to go back right. home and see that a breakthrough happened. Sure, that's so true, this sure, is, sure, this, we can't even scratch that's the true. surface mm -hmm, of mm -hmm, what God true. did in Ghana. And to him alone be all the glory. Amen. Pastor Dr. Egesi, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Let me give you the opportunity to say one final word to our audience before we go. Right. So, um, these are the days of the power of God. Right. You cannot be missing in this kind of uh, a, a season. A season is upon you. Mm -hmm. And like you saw in Ghana, or we all saw in Ghana, um, God is in a hurry. Right. And God is more than able. Ooh. And God is willing to do. Ooh. So what are you waiting for? Ooh. Join us in NSPPD, where we say what God cannot do does, does not, not exist. exist. And I also want to tell our Papa, Pastor Jerry Eze, you are a good man. Right. You are a very good man. And I, I just want to say, I don't just want to say remain blessed, sir. I want to say you will remain blessed and God Amen. will multiply the blessings Amen. over and over Amen. again. God bless you as you keep listening. And thank you for having me Aww. on this strange acts of God. Thank Pastor you so much, Nalong. Sir. Thank you also, uh, Pastor DK. And I'm, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to the mighty miracles that God is going to Amen. do as we step into this Amen. year in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And we look forward to having you again and again. Thank you, sir. Thank, thank you very you, sir. much. Say something to our viewers. Oh, well, I, I, I love the theme of uh, 2024, uh -huh. and which is Elroy, right. the God who sees. And I'm excited that Elroy is seeing, and Elroy is speaking, mm -hmm. and Elroy is doing. Mm -hmm. you know, and this is what NSPP is all about. Elroy sees, mm. mm -hmm. Elroy sees you. Yep. Mm. Elroy is speaking about you, mm -hmm. and Elroy is doing. Hey. The doings of Elroy have no end. You know, the Bible would say, whatsoever thou doest shall be forever. Nothing shall be added, nothing shall be subtracted. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says, he do any that men shall fear before him. This is what NSP is all about. Mighty works of God are waiting for you on the altar of fire. Mm -hmm. I, I, I can only say to you that what God cannot do for you does not exist. Mm, hallelujah. hallelujah. Mm. You know, a season is upon us and you should never just be a spectator. Someone mm. needs to type and declare, I am a partaker of the strange acts of yes. God. Ah. God forbid that this season would come and you would not partake mm. of what mm. heaven mm. is mm. in a hurry to do for mm. you. That will never be your portion in the mm. mighty name of Amen. Jesus. Wow. Amen. Having seen and having heard the wonders that happened at NSPPD Ghana, where would would you rather be on a Monday morning than on NSPPD? Come and join us. That same God right. that was in a hurry to pour out his miracles in Ghana is always on 
NSPPD, he never misses a service. Mm -hmm. There is enough allocation to go around. Yeah. So come back and join us 7 a.m. Nigerian time, Monday through till Friday, mm -hmm. as NSPPD continues and you too shall testify in the yeah. mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The strange acts of God continues Saturday morning, 7 a.m. Nigerian time. Come back and join us. Do not come back alone. Have you clicked on the share button today? Go ahead and click on the share button and be a blessing to someone else. The world needs to know that God is still in the business of doing the impossible. Mm. Do you have a testimony of your own? Do not keep back the wonders of God to yourself. Go ahead and be a blessing to God's people. Send in your testimony to the testimony number written at the bottom of the screen. Are you following us across all of our social media handles? Go ahead and search for Streams of Joy International. Search for Pastor Jerry Aze. Like and subscribe. There are so many scam pages. Make sure you're following the right, you know, Streams of Joy church pages. Go ahead and follow us on the right pages and you'll be so blessed and so glad that you did. Wow, it's a wrap. That brings us to the end of our show. Once again, I'm so grateful, Pastor Chiedose Egesi and Pastor DK. DK, thank you so much for the value you brought on board today. May God bless and honor you. Remain blessed, sirs. Amen. Man. And thank you so much to our viewers for watching. Thank you so much to our viewers for sharing. Till next week, Saturday, remember, what God cannot do does, does not, not exist. exist.